with the lady in charge. Here I am outside the uh, natural birthing clinic in Brantford where they're going to be talking about not enough money, no doubt. So I'm going to go find out how many of them would take tax credit bonds that they can uh, use like in Argentina. We're talking about the main issue for today is talking about pay equity for midwives. All right. So in that red folder that you've got there, there's some handbills and information. Okay. But midwives have been publicly funded for the last 17 years in Ontario. Sure. And 11 of those 17 years, we didn't get a raise. So compared to comparator healthcare providers, All right. we are significantly underpaid. Okay, let me tell you what they did in Argentina. Okay. The unions who were underpaid and they were going to be laid off when they ran out of money. Yep. They said, you're going to pay us with $10 provincial bonds, yep. which we can use to pay our taxes, our license fees, our hydro, our health care. An alternative currency. And so I'm saying, I call that the Argentine solution right. where I'll take $10 provincial bonds from Ontario if I can put them in these places because yeah. I think everybody else will too. Right. So, would you take a pay raise in provincial bonds if nothing else? No. I think if, this is personal, I'm not speaking on behalf of all men. No, 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 I know that. But if we actually had a system whereby we had an alternative currency, yeah. like the Kingston Hours or the Ithaca Hours, all right. which is actually functional yeah. and you could use for real services, yeah. I think we could really revolutionize our economy. Well, that is not speaking for the Ontario Midwives, of Associ Midwives Association, that's my own point. I appreciate you know about time banking. Yeah. Well, did you know that I usually have my Let's sticker on here, yeah. and I'm going to put it on right now because I financed the very first Let's Time Bank software in the world in 1984. Oh, and I got invited to the United Nations in 2000 to do the speech on banking, and they passed the uni Let's resolution for green money based on... Anyway, thanks for your comments. But, you're, but sure, if the province of, but that's pretty good money, you know, bond money, right? Province of Ontario, you trust them with their hydro if and their you taxes. Like a statement from the Ontario no, no, Department. I want it from you, my dear. I don't care, but I'll and ask it everybody. Be, my own self, yeah. personally, not, not speaking for all midwives, if it was actually functional as a currency in our modern economy, yeah. absolutely. Good girl. What's your name? Kelly Gaskell. Thanks a lot. Hello, my dear. You run this clinic? I talk. And what's actually, your name, please? I'm Kathy Penzak. Okay. Susan actually runs the clinic. She's All right. our office administrator. <laughs> Would you take a short minute to just tell me a little bit, right away from your point of view, what's important here? Uh, the, the main point we are trying to get across is that uh, we want midwives to be paid uh, at the level they should be paid at compared to other professionals. Um, and we're not. We're All right. Now, did you ever hear what the Argentines did when they ran out of money? In, t in 1980s, what they did was the unions said, you're not going to lay us off. You're going to pay us with small denomination provincial bonds. Now, if we printed $10 provincial bonds that you can use for hydro, for taxes, for health care, for fees, would you take an increase in provincial bonds, if nothing else? Yes. All right. Thank you very much, my dear. That's the idea. Okay. It's called the Argentina Bond Solution, and that's all I'm talking about. And I can apply it to all the poverty issues. Neat, eh? Anyway, thanks a lot, my dear. Now I'm going to live around your clinic. And